Let me show you how to build this card using HTML and CSS. You can also click on it. Starting with this blank HTML page, it looks something like this in VS Code. I've also linked up this CSS style sheet, which means we're good to go with creating this card. So the first step is gonna be to write out the HTML. We can begin by targeting or creating a new anchor tag with a class of card and provide an href if you want it to be a link. If you don't want this to be a link, then simply change this to be a div totally up to you. Now, the class of card means it's gonna be the main container for the card itself. And the container will contain a left and a right side. So let's make a new div with a class of card underscore underscore section and make this two of those for left and right. Now, in the first one, we're gonna include an image. I'm gonna say image with a class of card underscore underscore image. Inside here, provide a source to be images forward slash decode.png in my case. And of course, provide some alt text for decode. And now we can head inside the second div or the right side and include a title and some body text. Let's say P with a class of card underscore underscore title. Inside here, we're gonna say decode. And then for the second one, P with a class of card underscore underscore body. Inside here, I'm simply going to copy what I had for my uh, demonstration from earlier and paste it inside there. So if I save this and go back inside the browser, we get something like this. We have the large image and scrolling down, we also have the text on the bottom. So now let's use CSS to transform this right here into this right here. Going back inside VS Code now, within the CSS style sheet, let's begin by targeting the class of card, and this here is gonna be the largest rule set in the style sheet. Let's, uh, let's use a display of flex, and this flex is going to make sure the text will appear on the right side, uh, of course, giving us that left and right, uh, you know, column type setup. Let's go back in VS Code now and also apply some padding of 24 pixels as well as a box shadow of 0, 0, 24 pixels, RGBA 0, 0, 0, and then of course 0 0.15. This gives us a 24 pixel blur for a, uh, a black that is 15% opaque. Let's also set a max width of 400 pixels. Save this back in the browser and we get something like this. So we have the padding right there and we have the very subtle box shadow around the edges. Now, the max width of 400 pixels was important because as we can see here, if I was to resize down, it is going to shrink with the browser, but also it's not gonna go any more than 400 pixels wide. So that is why we chose to use max width there, making it responsive. Okay, going back inside VS Code now, let's also set a font size of 15 pixels, a font family of Inconsolata, and I'm also gonna say sans serif alongside a font weight of 600. All of this here is completely up to you guys. I'll save this back in the browser and we have that font weight or that font family set against the text. Let's go back in VS Code now and also take a look at the border radius for the card itself. Let's make this eight pixels for a very subtle uh, rounded edges against the card. Let's give it a text decoration of none to remove the underline that is default on anchor tags, as well as a very dark gray for the text color. I'm also gonna set a background to be F -A, F A F A F A. This right here is a very, very light gray. Save this back in the browser and we get something like this. We have the rounded edges against the card. Now, the reason why I chose to use a very light gray as the background here is because in the demonstration or the example, when hovering over the card, it changes to be a white background. This right here, of course, will communicate to the user that this thing can be clicked on or interacted with. So going back inside here now, let's set a transition against the card to say uh, simply just the background at 0.25 seconds, which means it'll take one quarter of a second to change the background on the card. 
And of course, the background will be changed when the user hovers over it. So let's say card, colon, sorry, card, colon, hover, then say a background of white. Now, I'll just make the normal background to be a medium gray, just to demonstrate this effect. Back in the browser, hover over it, and we can see it changes uh, to white when hovering over it. Let's now put it back to be a light gray, um, and we're good to go in terms of the card. So now we can move on to the image itself. Let's say card underscore underscore image and set the width to be 80 pixels. Save this back in the browser and we get this right here. Let me just fix up the card real quick and put it back to the correct background. Let me just quickly fix this guys, I apologize. So dark gray for the color and very light gray for the background and put this back, there we go. Now. For the image as well, we're going to set a border radius of 50% to make it a circle. Save this back in the browser, it is now a circle across the edges. Now, we're also going to have some space between the image and the text, so we can just simply use a margin right here and say 24 pixels, make sure to use this same value that you used for the padding at the top, this way it is consistent all the way around the card itself. So. We have some space there between, of course, the image and the text, which means we can move on to the text itself. Let's say card underscore underscore title and then give this a margin top of zero. I'm not going to save it just yet. Let's go back in the browser. We have some space between the text and the top. Let's make this in line with the image. Back in here, press save. Back in the browser, it is now in line with that margin top of zero. Let's also apply a font size. Let's say font size of 1.4 em. This means 1.4 times the current font size. Because the title is a child element of the card, it means it's 1.4 times this 15 pixels as the current font size. So whatever that number is, that is the size or the font size of the title. Let's also give this a font weight of bold to emphasize that it is of course a title. Save this back in the browser and we get this right here. The last step is gonna be to style up the body text. Let's say card underscore underscore body and for this, a single property, a line height of 1.5. Once again, I'm not gonna save it just yet. Go back in the browser here now. This refers to the amount of space between each line inside the text. So take a look at that. Go back inside here, press save back in the browser, and it is now uh, a lot more space between those lines of text. So this here makes it look a lot more professional. And I think 1.5 is good for small amounts of text like this. If you have larger amounts of text, maybe you want to use a 1.2 or 1.3, but up to you, of course. This here is a good effect. Now, the last thing to do is to remove the space between the bottom of the card and the bottom of the text, just like we did for the title. So inside here, we're just going to say uh, card body, then target the last child of the container that is a card body, then say a margin bottom of zero, save this back in the browser and we are done. There is no more space or a lot less space between the bottom of the card and of course the bottom of the text. So that is how to create this card using HTML and CSS. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.